वेलकम टू माई चैनल होप यू ऑल आर वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एड वन मोर वीडियो इन गेट टॉपर टॉक सीरीज टूडे वी आर हैविंग ए वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट फ्रॉम साउथ लक्ष्मी साई कृष्णा हु हैव अचीव ऑल इंडिया रैंक टेन इन गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग ऑल इंडिया रैंक टेन इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लानेटरी दैट हाउ मच पोटेंशियल ही हैज हाउ मच टैलेंटेड ही इज बिकॉज गेट इज वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ एनी इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीम and having all india rank 10 is already reflecting his hard effort discipline life and the kind of effort and a strategy he has followed during his preparation journey some of the very important thing i would like to mention about lakshmi sai krishna one thing which impressed me a lot was his clear goal that he had started his gate preparation to have mtech from top iit he was very clear from the beginning of his preparation that he has to do mtech he has not to opt for any psu or any government job apart from that he has also qualified for engineering services mains examination so one thing we can conclude from here that you should have a basic preparation like cover of entire syllabus if you will have that kind of preparation then you can qualify any examination based on that engineering stream in this interactive session i would like to cover many of the crucial area like what was his preparation strategy when did he uh, decide to have gate preparation number of attempt he took to have such a good rank whether he took help of any coaching during his preparation or not number of test series he purchased to have such a fine preparation how did he approach to have uh improvement in uh question error and also what was his revision strategy note preparation strategy last month preparation strategy and finally what will be his valuable suggestion to his upcoming juniors and many more thing i will try to cover in this session so before starting this session i would like to request from all of you please subscribe this channel and make this informative channel a very large family it's your channel so first of all i would like to congratulate lakshmi sai krishna to have such a wonderful rank in gate examination Yes, sir thank you sir thank you very much before going deep into the session firstly lakshmi sai krishna introduce yourself oh yes sir so my name is lakshmi sai krishna yarru i am from tanali guntur district andhra pradesh so i finished until my schooling until 10th class in uh, tanali only and then i moved to vijayawada fitji uh, where i finished my intermediate and then i moved to jain to kakinada so there it is like a exchange program where i study my 3 years of btech in jain to kakinada and the final and fourth year in uh, sweden uh, the institute name is bth blekinge institute of technology so it's like uh, i have an exposure of one year of uh, foreign bachelors and i returned back to india in uh, june 23 and then i decided not to go back even though i have an offer of offer for a masters i decided to stay back in india due to various reasons like health and financial reasons and then i started my great preparation in uh, july 2023 immediately after one month after coming back to india and then uh, yeah in basically concluded gate exam uh, in february i got this rank sir yes sir that is my journey sir. like lakshmi sai krishna how many number of attempt you took to have such a good rank and when did you decide to have gate preparation how it started and you decided that you have to prepare for the gate examination yes sir so during btech it's like i was not uh, so keen on i i was always thinking about masters but i was not like i may not stay in india because i was going to foreign country so i have an opportunity to mas to do masters in foreign country so i am not interested or like i am not inclined towards this gate preparation du during btech itself so i just attempted in my third year in 2022 that is in 2022 gate i got i received uh, 1250 rank with 42 marks in ac but it's like there is no preparation sir just i just uh, went and gave an attempt luckily i got some good rank there also maybe because of some good basics in btech but later on 
I just forgot. I just did not utilize the rank anywhere. I just went to Sweden. I completed my bachelor's. I was thinking of like doing masters in Sweden only. So after coming back to India, if uh, due to these various reasons, I could not go back. So it's like, yeah, now I have to give get seriously. So now I have to prepare seriously. So I should join some coaching institute. And I thought like that. It's like the decision was taken last year only, sir. So then I went to AS Academy and then I took coaching there. Then I got the ranks. Uh, Lakshmi Sai Krishna, if we start from the basic, what was your overall preparation strategy? What are the things you followed during your preparation? Definitely to have all India rank 10, you will have to follow a different path from other students to have uh, such a good rank. So you have to mention all these things. And also, if a student from the zero level, like you already mentioned that it was your first serious attempt of gate examination. So if someone from zero level are willing to prepare for such examination and are hoping to have such a good rank, then what should they consider during their preparation plan? What are the things they must consider? And how should they plan his preparation journey to have such a good rank in their first attempt itself? Yes, sir. So in July, uh, my coaching started, sir, in AS Academy Hyderabad, Kotapet branch. So from there, it's like a seven months or eight months journey. And uh, by November, AS Academy people finished my syllabus. And then I returned back to home in December, like December first week like that. And two months I uh, carried my preparation in home only, sir. Many, many people think that uh, we may not, we cannot prepare from home, but it's not like uh, we can do, sir, but we should be somewhat more dedicated compared to there. Uh, the strategy is basically like classes. If I have good enough time per day, so it's basically uh, like, like I usually I used to write first of all short notes, sir. I should revise that if on that particular day the topics that have been taught to me, I used to write the short notes. I should re I used to revise and write the short notes and then finish. If I have some more time left, I used to do workbooks and PYQs questions also, sir. So during learning only, uh, I used to finish fifty percent of PYQs, short notes, and also some workbook also. So like that, uh, when I came back home. It's like 50% of the work is done. So the rest of uh, the work, like pending PYQ questions, any pending short notes, basically these are uh, left pending because of the tight schedule in October and November, sir, because of tight schedule in October and November from the coaching academies. So then I used to not have time. So now uh, in December, I used to finish all the pendings. After that, in January, it is all about uh, online test series, sir. So there I gave almost every day I used to give one test, sir. Like morning, I used to wake up. I used to give three hours full length mock test. Afternoon, it's like I used to analyze all the mistakes and then like uh, check where I'm doing mistakes and revise those particular concepts again. So this way I spent the whole January. In December, it's like uh, 30 days. So 30 days, 10 subjects usually for easy subject. So three days per subject. So it's like on an average, I used to take three days, one good revision, uh, pending PYQ used to be finished and also pending short notes. So by the end of the December, it's like I was ready with all the sources, my notes, my short notes, all the PYQ with the detailed, I used to have a, a I still have my detailed solutions for all the PYQ sir, with me. So, and also subject wise tests also I used to give in December, sir, whenever it is possible. And the topic wise tests, it's like during learning only every day night or, or alternate day nights, I used to give topic wise tests. So that would give me some bit more confidence while going through the learning also. So this is the basic strategy, sir, regarding test series and uh, planning also. Uh, based on your experience, what are the number of months sufficient to have a broader preparation for examination like gate examination from EC? Um, I mean, you can think in a two ways, sir. Like first way is a student may have like, he may take a year gap after fourth year. Mm -hmm. Then he's like, he's having 24 hours of time daily. Mm -hmm. So there is no college work. There is no pressure otherwise. So it is possible in that case, sir, definitely. Even I cracked it in eight months, uh, despite having good basics. Uh, my serious preparation started in July. So in eight months, I could crack. So it is sufficient for any student. One year is definitely sufficient, sir. But during college, uh, the student might must assess because the year he might have he might have semester subjects, he might have semester exams. So in that case, maybe uh, it might be difficult. But if we could start early, like in third year or second year, or at least in third year, then it is definitely sufficient, sir. Usually one year with a good amount of time per day is usually ideal, ideally sufficient.
Krishna, as you already mentioned that you had taken coaching from AS Academy. So I would like to know that what was your source of study material, including both like some from the coaching material, some from outside means other than the coaching material. So you have to cover all the source of the study material, which you followed to have such a fine gate preparation. Please uh, cover all this area in very detail. Yes, sir. Uh, for gate, it's like a vast syllabus. So we cannot go through textbooks. Uh, it's very length, uh, time taking. So that's why coaching is preferred. Uh, coaching streamlines all our uh, basics and our concepts during BTEC. So what uh, happens in AS Academy is they give me previous year questions, a uh, big booklet, and then I have workbooks for each subject. I have textbooks also for each subject. Good thing is AS Academy people finish off their uh, textbook questions in the class itself. So I don't need to open the textbook again. If I have time, I used to do workbook. Uh, I think by the end of my gate preparation, I finished 50% of the workbooks given by AS Academy. The main 50% I could not solve. But I feel that workbooks are not that important compared to PYQs. PYQ, finishing PYQs once or twice is very important. And then notes and short notes is very important, sir. So my three uh, only three sources are sufficient, short notes or notes, plus previous year questions, plus online test series. So these three are sufficient, sir. And uh, some important uh, aspects are related to mathematics and aptitude, sir. Most students neglect uh, mathematics and aptitude because they feel they can do it on the exam day. But what happens is on the exam day, even we do it, we do more errors, sir, in these two areas only. So I what I implemented uh, compare uh, different from other students is ex uh, uh, particularly in mathematics on mathematics and aptitude, sir. So from November itself only, or November ending also, like December and January, I completely every day, night after 8 or 7 p.m. I used to take two hours every day and I used to solve mathematics PYQ and aptitude PYQ of all the departments, not only my EC department, of all the uh, the ACE Academy gave me mathematics booklets, which contains all department PYQs. So in that way, I used to solve at least daily 20 to 20, 30 questions of PYQs daily from all the departments. So in that way, by the time of the exam, I was like very confident. I, I was le very less error prone, sir. I was very accurate in mathematics and aptitude. So that is one thing I have done differently, sir, from other students. Like everyone knows that these series play a very crucial role in competitive examination like gate examination so number of test series you purchased and from where you purchased test series to have such a fine preparation to have better accuracy and better practice so that you can reflect that strategy into your final uh, examination uh test series, test series is like a complementary for us sir it, it comes along with uh, offline coaching. So that is my major priority. But I also took made easy uh, test series also. But I could not uh, focus on it that much. But uh, I feel that focusing, finishing of one online test series is itself a great achievement, sir. Because not only is full length text, they also contain subject wise, multi subject wise, as well as topic wise also. So first of all, I, I, I felt that I almost finished 90% of ACE test series completely. Topic-wise, subject-wise, multi-subject-wise, I could not take that much. But full-length tests, I took almost every 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 test. Made easy, I took it, but I could not get that much time, sir. Otherwise, made easy is also good. But AS is uh, fine, sir. I completed AS completely. One test series, if you complete, that is fine, sufficient. Coming to the next point, what was your test series attempt strategy? And I would like to also know that whatever strategy you followed during your test series, did you follow the same strategy or were you able to implement that strategy in final gate examination? Yes, sir. Usually what happens is in test series, uh, the questions are aimed at gate only, but they're not that much uh, difficult. They're moderate to difficult questions they will be giving, sir. Easy questions also they will be giving. So during test series, my strategy was like, yeah, take the test completely see where I'm doing mistakes and try to write the solutions for them or at least try to analyze them and go back to the concept where I'm doing the mistake. Uh, and the strategy followed during the exam is like, 
mostly because these are easy i it's like order sir for first question to the last question but sometimes when i get a tough question like from made easy test series or ace test series also when i get a tough test it's like round round system sir so first go take a round of the whole paper uh, find wherever there are easy very easy questions finish off those easy questions come again you take another round see where you are uh, uh, having some moderate questions or lengthy questions then finish off them then you can have a lot of good time at the end to solve and think about different difficult questions so the same strategy i followed in the final exam also sir this year final exam ec was a di difficult paper because of this analog and ddc so because of that analog and ddc toughness the whole paper became tough sir this year ec so that's why uh, this strategy helped me a lot in the final test series also and maths and aptitude it's like yeah in in the beginning of an hour or 40 minutes i should finish maths and aptitude sir whatever the paper difficulty level maybe this is my whole strategy uh, what were we are uh, way to analyze the test series and definitely everything can't be covered in the classroom so many of the things many new things appears in the test series so we have to follow the strategy like concept through the question and also we have to analyze that whether we are following the repetitive kind of error same error we are repeat repeating in every test series or <clears throat> some of the formula we have to remember again and again because some important formula we need everywhere so and also we don't have to derive everything during our test series so how what was your planning to analyze the test series and what are the way you followed to analyze your test series very effectively yes sir what you said was absolutely right sir because uh, even though coaching they give the best efforts to teach us everything definitely there are some so many things to learn because gate is a huge syllabus and uh, during uh, OTS. Yes, the good thing is we are going to get almost. We are going to cover every type of question that we can expect from it. So it's like it's a good thing, sir. That doing mistakes is good thing in online test series because while we are doing mistakes, it means that uh, we are going to learn that concept. Either it is new or a difficult concept, we are going to learn that. And the solutions uh, we also get solutions for online test series. So definitely, uh, if a if I'm doing a mistake, I'm going to learn that new concept. so it, it, mostly this happens with analog sir because uh, there are a vast number of uh, models that can that can be built using analog subject uh, because it's this is, it itself is a design subject uh, and also there are so many uh, em emtl like antenna as a concept is also there so there are so many concepts where uh, how much you do also you will you will be seeing new questions every day usually so, so what i tell to people is don't get demoralized by these mistakes even you get 30 marks or 40 marks from the online test series also you are going to learn 60 marks worth of knowledge from the mistakes if i get 80 marks then i'm not going to look at the 80 marks that i already scored i am only going to look at the 20 marks that i did not score so you learn more if you score less in the online test series and you will get better day by day in the test series that's what happens sir, mostly as per my consideration definitely for the professor who is a starting who is going to start their preparation they should not follow a shortcut path they should cover the entire syllabus very thoroughly so i would like to know it from the sai krishna that what will be your view point like someone should follow a smart path like uh, they have to prepare they have to go through the selective preparation they have to lift some part of the syllabus or they have to cover the entire syllabus what was your preparation planning like whether you covered the entire syllabus or you covered partially important syllabus so please cover all this area based on your preparation experience smartness is required sir but uh, in general first priority should be given to cover the entire syllabus sir because gate is being gate gate being a huge syllabus also gate is a uh, very unpredictable exam sir because this year if i get 10 marks from edc next year i may get i may not get 10 i may i may get no i may not get 10 marks from edc so we don't know so definitely covering every subject is first priority but it is not possible for every student that is the problem so in that case smartness can come into play where students can target a few subjects initially then going to the tougher subjects or lengthier subjects so i would suggest uh, first of all i would i let me suggest sir some subjects which the order they can follow then i will tell what subject i took and all etc so the more scoring areas in gate are for ec are digital signals control and networks these four subjects are scoring areas and they are straight forward they are mathematical straight forward application oriented so you can just solve you can just attack the question directly 
So these these four are very important. So first finish of these four. Then you can come to electronic devices as well as EMTL. These both parallelly will go well together because they have some interlink between them. So if you can do parallelly, then it's good. Uh, and also these two are somewhat a little bit uh, theoretical. So you should think when the question is given. And finally, you come to communication because it is very huge. It is equivalent to three subjects. Communication is equivalent to analog plus random process plus digital communication. So communication is vast and very difficult questions are being asked from communication regularly from last 20 or 15 years. So communication is like, even though how much you prepare initially, there is a high chance that you're not going to attempt the question in the final exam. So keep it at the last. And also the left out thing is uh, analog also. Analog from last four to five years, they are going out of the out of the box because this year also analog is very tough. That's why I'm telling this to the people. And finally, mathematics, you should do tech periodically. If you have a big gap in mathematics, it's like you are gone. You are going to do definitely mistakes. And aptitude, of course, you are going to do. And there is computer architects organization, which most people don't study at all for easy department because only one mark is they are going to ask. So you just do it at the com completely flag end. Uh, coming to myself, I tried to finish everything, but there are a little bit weak links, sir. Like uh, I could not finish off computer architecture organization completely, but I had a good enough revision just to make sure that if any question comes, I can try. Fortunately, I could uh, attend that question in the exam. Uh, otherwise, rest of the things, I could cover everything, sir, mostly. Like everyone knows that revision is the key factor of the success. Without revision, we can't get a con high confidence level. So, and gate syllabus is very vast syllabus to memorize all the sort formula, sort trick, and to uh, recall that concept during our examination is very crucial for having a good rank. So, what was your preparation strategy? to have backup of all these concepts and also like uh, I would like to also know the note preparation strategy like someone follow like use marker to highlight some of the concept someone make their own sort cut note or someone uh, don't make their note so what was your note preparation strategy please cover all these area means all these two sections in very detail Yes, sir. Revision for me is equal to short notes only, sir. So if okay. you could make a really good short notes, it's like your revision is already done because to make short notes, you have to do one revision, definitely. So there one day, one revision is done. From the second revision, you can use the short notes itself. You don't need to open your notes. Uh, for me, a good short notes is like once you wrote a short notes, you should, you should not, you should be not, you should not able to, you should not require, you should not be required to open the main notes unless a very really challenging question comes comes to you. Otherwise, you should be highly reliable on short notes only. So that kind of short notes is a really good short notes. Fortunately for me, during learning only, I could make short notes, which helped me a lot. And uh, even till today, any exam I attempt other than gate related to gate syllabus, I only read my short notes. Right now. I usually don't open my notes. So a good short note should be very handy for you. And uh, making short notes is like uh, very individual sir it's like it should be only understood by you only it should not be understood by any other people it should only suitable to you it should only it should only uh what do you call um uh, cater to your needs only like some people may rem remember formula but they don't they, they may not understand concept some people may understand concept very little but they could not remember formula so there the such kind of people should have the short notes like a formula book only then they can remember the formula very well and obviously concepts will come around so for me, it's like a balanced approach, sir. both concept and uh, formula in my short notes. That way I can finish off revision also perfectly. Lakshmi Sai Krishna, definitely this is a long journey. So how did you keep motivated during your entire preparation journey? Definitely it requires a very disciplined life, challenging life. And apart from that, to have that motivation, you have to also consider some of the thing, some of the entertainment, uh, entertainment thing so that you can Keep yourself always recharged and have a positive energy inside you so that you can continue your preparation with better energy level. Yes, sir. So during coaching, it's like uh, very usually it's a hectic schedule for everyone. From usually it is from morning to night after October. Initially, two months there, it is very happy, like from afternoon morning to afternoon only. I used to have a lot of time afternoon to study also. 
it's like waking up at 6 6:30 or 6 o'clock or 5:30 is the diff- most difficult part uh, i could ever have in my whole gate journey not not even the subjects or anything waking so it's like sometimes lifestyle becomes the most difficult part compared to the preparation uh coping up to the lifestyle uh is what i mean if you could just follow the schedule properly it's usually enough to crack the gate but most people can't uh concentrate on the subjects just because they could not uh, adjust their uh, life to this hectic schedules so what i suggest is uh, just have good sleep daily try to sleep early because you are going to you know you are going to wake up early so you should try to sleep early at least and try to eat uh on what do you call less food during night times so that you will have good sleep effective sleep and i i was like i, I was like i was so strict in my diet sir especially because i was uh when i came back to india i was very fat so i want to also get cut down my weight so it's like i was very strict on my diet i, I used to not eat any cooked food in the night time i used to eat only uncooked food like uh, so could dry fruits and so could dry nuts of course they're costly but they will just make you uh, your life very easy like your 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 sleep very effective these kind of food fruits so every day night after coming back to coach from coaching centers it's like i eat only uncooked food only most most of the times and uh, afternoon it's fine usually morning also i don't eat anything sir i only eat two times a day so of course it's not possible for everyone but it's good if you eat as less as possible because people have a misconception misconception that we are studying a lot we have to eat a lot it's not the case the less you eat the more you can focus during the classes also so food you have to take very careful you should be very careful and uh, sleep is very important and moreover after coming after finishing off it's like uh, when i came to my home it's fine sir for me so there is no problem food and everything is all fine environment is fine um and uh, during uh, gate also like you have to have a particular sleep schedule sir because on my gate day, i have faced this very bad uh, situation where i could not sleep the entire day the day, the day before gate uh, it's like i did not sleep at all sir just i i was closing my eyes that's all so i was so worried that i could not uh, concentrate for that 3 hours so to avoid such kind of uh, hectic uh, situations you should be tuning your sleep cycle from the beginning days of your coaching itself then only you can tune your sleep cycle until the gate gate exam time and food i told already um, motivation wise it's like uh, more or motivation it's uh, you have uh, you should be careful about your uh, phone and mo- mobile and laptop uh, screen time uh, i suggest my friends who are now coming to get to reduce their screen time to 3 hours no need to cut off completely because we are already in a social life where we cannot do that completely cutting off phone and laptops but mm-hmm. it's good if you could cut your uh, uh, screen time to at least 3 hours th- close to 3 hours that will help you and try to use more laptop compared to mobile phone because mobile phone is more addictive and uh, it's more uh, harmful to health compared to laptop because you have a good distance between the screen and us and we cannot uh, use social media for long time in laptop that is a that is a good uh, advantage there so i i even now i have a laptop uh, continuously in front of me most of the times so it helped me it helps in now also so use laptop uh, try to reduce your screen time and try to spend more time with your family members because whenever you get it's common to get demotivated because we don't know where we are going we don't have any opportunities in hand because gate exam is the only thing we have in front of us so is it easy to get demotivated which will affect you at least one week or two weeks of your preparation which is which is bad so what you can do is uh, spend more time with your family members so that uh, they will give you good enough motivation and you will be motivated uh, with that and uh, rather than if you use in place of family members some people use mobile phones and laptops to get out of that uh, feelings but it will increase that kind of uh, demotivation so and also take occasional breaks uh, occasional breaks because uh, it's not advisable to study 30 days com- uh, 30 days of a month completely so take occasional breaks like once every two weeks or twice a month uh go for a movie it's not a issue i used to go for a movies even jan in january also in january i went for two movies so at least watch two movie not on the movies it's it's up to them try to take whatever a off like. day yeah whatever they way they want to relax relax mm-hmm. two to three days per month only don't carry away by that just keep it to a limit but take it's necessary to make yourself comfortable with the schedule like what was your daily routine like it was whether you have made a, some some routine for your daily study or in terms of hour how many hour approximately uh, you used to study every day um approximately it's around 9 hours sir 
average 9 hours or 8 to 10 it it, it uh, oscillates it's like morning i used to have a 3 hours run and then after eating i used to have one more 3 hours and before after and evening after if evening break after i used to do two, 3 hours so it's not that hard to take 9 hours sir people think it's very hard morning if you just wake up a little bit early like 7 o'clock you can just work until 10 o'clock it's 3 hours you can eat, you can take a break and you can eat and then you can all, again from 12 to 3 or 4 you can have 3 hours time also and again you can take 2 hours gap easily like 4 to 6 you can take gap 2 hours and then 6 to 9 if you work you can sleep comfortably by 10 you can just watch youtube or you can do anything and you can sleep so 9 hours or 10 hours you can, it's achievable but you should be uh, in that mindset you can do you should be in that mindset to do that and uh, for me my schedule during coaching is like uh, waking up early going to coaching coming back if i come back afternoon it's like i used to try to go to coaching center sir but it's like it's very crowded the coaching centers where the study rooms are very crowded if it's hard sometimes hard to get a place there so if i get okay i used to study there otherwise i come back to room and i study i have a single room so it's possible but in hostels i don't know if it's possible or not uh, then my strategy is like okay first sit down what goal today just revise that make a short notes whatever you understand whatever you feel good and then keep the short note, remove the notes from here and keep only the short notes there then you solve workbooks pyqs of that concept on that day so in that way you can finish off the uh, a day's work on that day only but once my coaching schedule got very hectic it's like morning to night i used to come back to room and i just used to uh, take used to do some revision or i used to take a topic first test night time and i used to sleep comfortably and in home my strategy is like morning three hours i usually spend for uh, test only sir either subject wise test or topic uh, full length test also i used to take in the morning time only because uh, for me my gate exam is on morning time uh, i know that in prior so like i planned like that and also morning time we are mostly active and also morning time is the most time where we lost time because uh, we have to brush we have to fa wash our faces we have to eat something break breakfast etc we have to speak with parents every it's like whole world is getting activated morning time it's like more distractions are there in the morning time afternoon it's like mostly peaceful night time it's more it's the most best time to study but morning time is the most distractive period even if i take any revision or even if i take any subject to read I'm definitely not going to uh, focus on it. But if I take a test at that time, even there are distractions, I don't have any option. I have to stick to the timer on the screen. So it's best to take, even you have your exam on the afternoon time, it's best if you take your topic wise tests or subject wise tests in the morning time. So that in the afternoon time, you can just revise what you like to and you can analyze your test also. So there are a lot of options you can do afternoon. Uh, so this is basically my strategy, sir. Even the full length test also morning time, I only should take. Like Krishna, what was your last month preparation strategy? Like uh, in, during last month, it's very hectic to have the means revision of all the subjects. So, how was your last month preparation? Yes, sir. So my last month preparation was like every day, not only not alternate days also. Every day morning, it's like a one full length mock test, either from ASA or uh, from ADZ or any test conducted by A. Sometimes A's also conduct uh, pre-gate exam like that. And also sometimes NPTEL people also conduct some online test mock tests where NPTEL mock tests are like a collection of all the old previous questions only. So they won't conduct uh, new questions. So it will be good practice if you want to see how you are standing with uh, PYQs only. If, the, if you have a question paper with only PYQs, then you can test with your NPTEL question paper there. So it's like there are op so many options for me to take full length mock tests. Almost every day I used to take a full-length mock test. In that way, I took it uh, close to 30, 30 mock tests sir, by and by gate exam. Even before the gate day also, I took one mock test morning time. So it's like, it's not uh, that we have to revise so many times. But the thing is, if you write more online test series or on more mock tests during what do you call, right? During that process, during that learning process only, you are going to revise so many topics. So mock tests in that way are really helpful. And it is very less hectic, sir, because revision is like a very huge target. You have to, if finishing a subject means like you have to, it's like finishing the whole notes or whole short notes. But online mock test is like, it gives us motivation plus it's very simple to revise here and there. So it's better to learn concepts through problems rather than just revising the concepts. So for me, it worked well. And also because I am going to revise the tough topics because revision is not like uh, we have to learn everything again, sir, because some topics are really good at. So there we might need not have that good revision again and again. 
So online test series will help that because in online test series, if you're going to have very easy questions or my strong, my strong area questions, then I don't need to give them. I don't need to read them again. I only read the tough questions or difficult uh, wrong questions I have been doing. So in that way, revision will become easy because of mock test. So for me, it's not like re uh, revising it again and again. I revise, I revised the syllabus once in December, sir. And uh, during mock tests, it's like almost a revision is finished during mock tests. I, it's like almost revising each and every concept once again during mock tests. And before get five days, I planned the final revision with only short notes. Uh, what I suggest to people is don't uh, be in a mood that I will prepare just before the day of exam. I finish the whole short notes because I have short notes now. I can They will feel that because they have short notes in the hand, they can finish off the short notes in one day. But uh, short notes itself a huge syllabus, sir, because so they cannot finish uh, their short notes itself in a one day. So better if they plan at least for five days, even for short notes also, it will be very comfortable. So in this way, they have to plan three to four, re three revisions is sufficient, sir, overall for GATE from the beginning onwards. Like uh, means uh, test series attempt and real paper. That is completely two different things because in test series, we don't handle means kind of actual pressure and ah, exam yes. time. We have different kind of pressure. Like I have to attempt this. I have to get this rank. I have, I don't have to attempt any question wrong. So like yes. what was your means final paper attempt, attempt yes. strategy, like someone get struck in between. So he may lose his momentum. So yes. how, how had you prepared for that type of situation? Ah, yes, sir. So the momentum thing that you heard told is really true, sir, that I experienced this gate here because there was a mathematics question related to longitude. Some lo They gave spear and some longitude and they want us to find the surface area or something. It's like we are in a, we most of the people, not only me, are in a mood that we should not leave mathematics questions. We should attack all the maths questions because they we, we are good at, most of the people are in impression that we are good in mathematics, at least if you are not in core subjects. So... I wasted at least five to six minutes for that question, but uh, wasting more than wasting time, realizing that is important. So realizing that as early as possible is what uh, is the difference between the rankers. So for me, during test series only, I got opportunities to tune my mind to the timer. Even the most uh, problematic thing that people face who do not take uh, this test series before going to exam is they don't realize that thing that they are wasting time on a single question. But if you're doing mock tests, you are like uh, testing yourself where I am wasting time. So you'll understand at least after the end of the exam, at least after the finishing the exam, after the mock test, after finishing the whole mock test, people will realize that they have not attended the paper completely. So there must be a reason. So they will think they will re uh, recap what they have done during the mock test. Then they will understand that, yeah, this question I spent more time. So now because of this question, I could not attempt the whole paper or I could not attempt that good this paper. So during more and more mock tests, this kind of tune tuning of mind will become sharp and sharp. And finally, during gate exam, even though we are wasting time, it is common uh, for a human mind. But even though we are wasting time, we are going to realize that we are going to realize that and we are definitely going to get back ourselves into the paper and just stop that question immediately. Like, Whatever it may be, I'm even I'm getting close to the answer also. Stop that question immediately. I will get that sense of uh, feeling, sir. Right? We should stop now. It's already, it's enough uh, based on my previous experience. I immediately stopped that question. I immediately went for another round. You won't believe me, sir, because of this, uh, I lost five minutes because of this. Maybe I might lost some one or two marks. Still, I got a good rank. That's fine. But because of this alertness, I could solve difficult questions in the last 10 minutes also, sir. So it's like, it will give you some sense of alertness if you could do more mock tests. So everything is related to this mock test only, sir. Most of the revision is mock test. Your exam strategy is mock test. So it's mostly related to mock test only, sir. Exam pressure and everything. Lakshmi Sai Krishna, you have already achieved All India Rank 10 in JTC Engineering. So like, do you think that any unique strategy like proper follow, they get a good All India Rank? But other don't follow and that's why they are not getting such a good kind of rank. So if any unique thing that you followed during your preparation, so you can mention to our guest. Uh, so you can mention that thing to upcoming aspirants so that they can follow and they can also achieve good rank. 
Yes, sir. So I might give a few techniques, sir, which I followed. My which I don't see in my friends usually. My not my friends. No, I'm get prepare, get aspirants. Okay. So most of the people think short notes and PVQs are like they are. They should be done only at the end of the subject or at least end of the coaching. So they delay that. They delay these two things to December. Most of the students or to November, December. So most of the people do sh- short notes and PVQ after coaching finishes. But what I tell them is not only after subject, you can do short notes and PVQ each and every day also. If you are really like getting that much, getting good time every day. So that one thing, fifty percent of my short notes, fifty percent of my PVQ. Were finished during the uh, teaching, teaching only, sir. During teaching days only. Remaining things, remaining pending things, I finished after the coaching time. So it helped me a lot. It uh, relieved my pressure because of because I know fifty percent was done. I have to do only fifty percent now. So the pressure is less and the confidence is more because even though I miss some here, I already finished fifty percent. So that is one unique thing I want to tell. Don't be in a misconception that. we could not make short notes uh, in between the classes you can make short notes but you should be really clever and smarter uh, and that smartness will only come if you do short notes and pvq also on the same day mm-hmm. what happens is uh, you will know how the questions are targeted in gate how the questions are framed in gate how the uh, professors who are doing this are thinking so based on that you can tune your short notes also immediately otherwise what happens is after subject as days pass by your re- relation with that subject fades away so you won't have that good feeling with the subject while you're doing the short notes after the subject so your short notes also like will become very dull if you do i mean your short, if your preparation of short notes and your s- syllabus i mean subject finishing is like having a good gap between them your short notes will be very dull you won't have that interest to read the short notes again but if you could finish during the subject or immediately after the subject if you could do it will be a very great, great help and pvqs also people will think that i they think that it is very difficult to solve the pvqs during the classes because they feel that pvqs are very difficult they are like very interdisciplinary questions are being asked and they think that only I, it should be done after the coaching or only it should be done after the subject it is also like the same thing you, you won't have that concepts in your mind after once the subject finishes and one more thing is after one subject finishes another subject starts so you are doing one subject you are solving another subject so this mismatch will like uh, make your uh, what do you call pattern in your mind somewhat complex so don't follow that uh, believe that you can do them in between and the third thing is mathematics and aptitude i already told sir you have to do it regularly don't think that you can do it on the exam day you are definitely going to make mistakes most of my friends or most of the gate experts i have been interacting with are telling that we prepared for core and we are trying we we tried for core better but the most disappointing part for us in the gate exam is mathematics and aptitude so most of the gate serious gate gate aspirants are mostly disappointed with mathematics and aptitude rather than core subjects after the gate exam so and also mathematics and aptitude is going to give you at least 28 marks they are given for 30 marks or 28 marks you are going to qualify there itself so if you could solve them with accurately in the exam you will have a good confidence that you are already qualified and you will having good confidence while going to the core part of the paper in the gate during the gate exam so that's why give most most importance to mathematics and aptitude which is 30% of your marks don't think that those 30 marks that those 30 marks are already in your pocket they are not in your pocket uh, definitely you are going to do errors if you don't practice mathematics and aptitude daily that thing and uh, mock tests also uh, even if you don't give topic wise and subject wise try to give more number of uh, full length mock tests in the december itself don't make it uh, delay to january because uh, for me it is possible to give daily but not everyone can but not everyone are interested in giving daily people more people more people suggest that to give mock tests alternate days so if you are going to give alternate days mock tests try to start in december only then you can cover more number of tests test etc and um, any other unique things like uh, um basically these are the only things sir and uh, i am not more focused on revision sir to be frank but i don't suggest people don't to revise more because uh, my schedule is more problem related i used to solve more number of problems daily so my revision is problem based revision so if you are not going to do more number of problems per day, uh, per day 
you have to revise more number of times otherwise you do more number of problems you do any any of the two these two these are the more unique things i have done sir which 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 gave me marks also during the exam lakshmi sai krishna i am also very happy to know about your decision like it's very unique thing that having all india rank 10 and uh, having a decision of higher studies of her psu or any government examination any government job like based on this rank you can have offer from you can expect offer from all the psu as you have also got offer from iit madras mtech so what are the things that helped you that helped you to take a decision of higher studies like mtech over psu or government job means what are the motivation that helped you to take such a decision in your life yes sir so after coming back to india from sweden last year mm. i was not uh, sure about uh, going back so i was thinking like yeah now i need some job or i should study again so mm. i was like yeah i should give great so at that time i don't know much about psu or everything sir i just know that psu is there but i don't know gate gives opportunity to that and uh, i was not also i was also not that interested in going to psus but later on i i got to learn about psus law more and more i felt that yeah psus are also a good option and uh, it is reasonable that people are willing and people are like very eager to enter psus with a good gate score mm. because of the uh, good work life balance especially in psus and also the of course salaries are comparatively less compared to private jobs but the facilities they are giving the additional facilities and the government related uh, norms and facilities are really good with psus etc and also if you are going to enter some research related institutes like isro drdo or uh, barc the respect you are going to get in the society is very huge as a scientist so it's like but there are some disadvantages of uh, psus also like the growth factor is comparatively low a little bit and uh, you have you are going to get some remote area jobs and also uh, what do you call salaries are less usually compared to private jobs so even private jobs also have some pro- advantages and disadvantages sir so but my motivation is like i was always uh, passionate about electronics circuits and subjects so even while starting the gate preparation my only aim is to get into iits Uh, my only aim is to get into iits and i was always thinking about yeah i have to sco- i have to get some uh, uh, 100 or 200 rank or 300 rank even if i get into some iit or some nid also i was like okay fine i my target is mtech only my target is iits only so my target is i want to study more i want to study for more years uh, that is main focus sir but uh, i don't have any hate hate particular hate or uh, uh any any like uh, repulsion towards psu sir but i am not sure whether i am going to get that much uh, possibility to explore myself in the subject in psus because the work there is already mostly predetermined uh, we are going to do the work which people are doing already uh, and also the sal- usually the salaries are also less whereas in M- i had after completing iit uh, mtech i am going to get a good salary moreover i am going to get a chance to explore myself in the domain in the particular domain like ic design or vlsa design or so, etc so that is the main motivation sir in mtech also i am going to get more time i to study so i want to study as long as possible and then i want to take up a job where i can explore myself that is the main motivation sir lakshmi sai krishna uh i expect from you like uh, something you few would like to suggest to upcoming gate aspirants like who want to prepare for the gate examination so what are the things you would like to suggest them or any extra thing which you would like to mention and i had, and i have not asked that question so you can also express that kind of information with our uh, viewer yes sir actually we have a very good and lengthy actually a very good great session here with uh, with so many questions i think we covered everything of my strategies uh, maybe i could summarize a few points and also i could give some anything if i miss uh, during the session so uh, first and foremost thing is to the future aspirants don't neglect mathematics and aptitude i am stressing this more number of times is because the importance of that is very high uh, people don't realize realize it most people realize it only after giving gate exam only fortunately i realized earlier now i want you people to realize early that maths and aptitude are as important as the core subjects in any in any paper in any domain next coming to uh short notes try to make 
short notes which suits you don't think that someone short notes will help us don't take short notes from other people it will ruin your knowledge also it will ruin your own knowledge so don't take short notes from other people one sh- if a short note is so uh, working for someone it definitely doesn't work for you most of the times it won't work for you so make your own short notes and uh, try to uh, if you are attending coaching or if you are taking online re- online lectures uh, coaching is fine if you are attending coaching try to have 100% attendance even you attend english classes also don't leave english classes also you attend english you attend mathematics you attend aptitude you attend every course subject because every subject has its own importance even this you get here i missed one two mark english question even i attempted Eng- i i attended english classes but uh, this year one question is difficult the sequence question i could not attempt that i lost two marks there but i am happy because uh, i could I, 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 i could attend the classes but i could not make it in the paper but if you do even don't attend the class then you cannot attempt the questions more number of questions so don't try to miss them and uh, if you are preparing at home through online try to do regularly don't miss between uh, so regularity is what uh, keeps you in touch with the uh, with the subject if even if you miss one day you are going to lose some relation with the subjects and relating to relate uh, so the three sources i am highlighting the sh- notes plus short notes pyqs and online test series these three things are sufficient to crack gate on any given day don't worry about uh, material given by the coaching institutes like workbooks textbooks which are near impossible for anyone to finish completely because they are huge in volume given by the coaching institutes so don't worry that you are not able to finish the material given by the coaching institutes because just because you paid money it doesn't mean that you have to solve everything then only you're going to get rank if you solve what is required then you're going to get rank that is important so solve pyqs first don't i mean most people do what do what they do is sir they start workbooks initially they don't start pyqs they start workbook they keep on doing workbook they forget about pyq completely they will think that i should solve workbook first because i paid money but what but what i feel is don't uh, before work, workbook is last first to finish pyqs so one good revision one good solving of pyq is necessary you try to solve as clearly as possible first time and the second time pyqs you try to like i mean during first time you'll understand some of the questions are difficult so tick mark them or star them uh, later on you try to write i mean you try to revise only those star questions multiple times you try to see the questions try to see the answers if you document them properly in the first time second time and third time the pyq questions you can just go through the concepts what you are using there so it will become easy for you so try to document whatever you do even the workbooks even the textbooks or even the notes or even the pyq whatever you are solving even the online test series whatever you are solving try to document them properly don't do like some people will be there so they'll take only one paper they will they will do the whole gate preparation on the one paper only so don't do that kind of uh, conjuice things uh, i don't know in that much uh, so don't do that kind of things try to document everything neatly that will help you in long term not only for you are not only trying for gate uh, also one more thing sir uh, gate syllabus is not only for gate that people most people misunderstand that gate coaching and gate syllabus is only for gate is only suitable for gate you could crack ies also like at least prelim stage you could crack with gate syllabus only i cracked ies without taking ies coaching prelims prelims part i cracked with the gate coaching only so it will open doors you can attempt any psu exam using only gate syllabus you can attempt almost at least i mean you will be getting chances to write at least 10 to 15 of if you are really interested in psus you will getting you will be getting 10 to 15 psu exams which are not i mean they conduct on their own for recruitment you can you can crack them very easily using gate syllabus and you can really give interview very nicely if you can if you are good with gate syllabus so no gate syllabus is not only for gate gate syllabus is for many other exams it will open doors for many other uh, opportunities so don't neglect gate syllabus don't think that gate syllabus is only for gate or mtech it will open doors for psus it will open doors for mtech it will open doors for ies and there are many other opportunities which i which even i don't know there are hundreds of opportunities which gate can give you and uh, test series all uh, the third thing test series don't uh, neglect test series even if you don't give topic wise subject wise please give full length mock test at least that is very important so and uh, yeah follow your passion ultimately don't think that uh, you must go to psu just because there is some pressure from society or family or from your religious backgrounds etc uh, if you want to really explore 
what you are i mean where you stand in your domain please give a thought of mtech first i mean don't erase mtech initially even after getting good rank also try to think about mtech money is not issue how much you pay now you are going to get them 10 times after you get a good job psu uh, of course P- compared to psu are going to get going to get more salary definitely so these are the suggestions i want to give sir basically uh, there is nothing much we ha- we have got everything sir basically we have had a very great session till now like uh, you have covered all the things in very detail and uh, yes, everything means definitely whoever is willing to prepare such examination they will get help from such informative video so very yes, very sir. thank you lakshmi sai krishna to joining me and uh, uh, to share all the inform- valuable information to our viewer so and all the best for your future and hopefully we will also conduct a session when will when you will also complete your mtech degree from iit madras about iit madras yes, mtech review so sure, all best, so all the very best for your future and thanks for joining thank you sir thank you very much sir i am very happy to have you uh, have this session with you and i am looking forward to have more and more sessions with you as well.